Steamboat geyser in Yellowstone National Park just erupted for the third time in two months, and scientists aren't sure why. The geyser doesn't erupt often, but when it does, it's the world's tallest active geyser. Steamboat geyser, known for shooting a 300-foot column of water into the air, erupted for the third time on April 27th. This is a spectacular geyser. When it erupts, it's usually very large, Michael Poland, the scientist in charge of the U.S. Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, wrote in an email. The recent eruptions were slightly smaller than previous ones, according to seismic data. While this latest eruption was smaller, it's still impressive when compared to, say, Old Faithful. Steamboat's April eruptions each ejected about 200 to 400 cubic meters of water, about 10 times the amount of water released by Old Faithful. The problem is, Steamboat lacks fidelity. The geyser is located in an area of the park called the Norris Geyser Basin, known as Yellowstone's hottest and most volatile thermal area. Most geysers erupt infrequently, unlike Old Faithful, so Steamboat isn't mysterious in that regard. But Steamboat has a mystical aspect because it's the tallest active geyser in the world. That draws attention, and rightfully so, Pullen said. Before March 15th, the geyser's last eruption was in September 2014. On the day of the first eruption, Park staff detected activity on seismometers, thermal gauges and a release on a nearby U.S. Geological Survey stream gauge. Yellowstone National Park staff arrived in time to observe steam coming out of the geyser but no water column. According to the Geological Survey, this is a common occurrence after large water eruptions. The steam phase can last for hours, 